Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is Jago or Jalen here today. I've got for you another video, and of course, it's another story time, so let's get it. But before that, I'd like to apologize for not uploading for the freaking I don't know how long it's been like three months. I don't honestly, Brian got no excuse. I'm just lazy as hell. I don't know why I'm not uploading, but you know, I need to get back into it. So, anyways. Apologize, and I gained one subscriber, so thank you. That one subscriber, well, actually, I gained three for from doing nothing. So, I appreciate y'all for um subscribing and stuff. So, thank you for the support. Oh, as always, I can't talk, but uh, let's get into the video. So, this story time is going to be about we finally dropped the baton, bro. Our four by one finally dropped the baton, bro. But, anyways, let's get to the beginning of the season. Our 4x1 started off with a 43-6, and then the next meet, we ran a 43-5. Then the next meet, we ran a 43-4. Then the next meet, we ran a 42-8. Bruh, think about that. We dropped basically almost a whole second off our time within four meets, bruh. We could have ran a 41 this season. Well, obviously, the season ended, but you know, obviously, at region, we, we expected to win because, you know, we had the fastest time. We were the best 4 by one in the city, in the region, really. So, basically, in the region meet come. It's round one. And, you know, we getting hyped, bro. We getting warmed up. All these teams are like, ooh. We see Northside over there. We going to see. We going to see if we can beat them, you know, because we ran a 42. We were the only one that ran a 42 at that meet. So, and this was a very important meet. Because if we didn't make it past this, we couldn't make it past sectionals. And if we didn't make it past sectionals, we couldn't go to state. So, <sighs> let's get more into it. So, basically, everybody warming up. Everybody's expecting these other teams to win. I don't think a lot of people knew our times, but a lot of people did. Like, you see, like, some people knew, but some people didn't. Like, the teams that were from our city... Obviously, they knew our times because we, we raced them niggas all the time, and we blew them out every meet. The only meet we lost was because Coach, like, tried to test stuff and put people in different events just to see how things would go. And you can see we got we still got second overall, and not anybody was running their events. Like, I was running the four, and I'm a 100-200 runner. So, hmm. But, you know, anybody can run the four, so. But anyways, back to regions. So we get our handoffs. We start messing up. Like me in the second leg, Matt. Like we start messing up because I start, I start like catching up to him too fast. And once, like I was just completely on him, bro. I had to run out the lane because I was so much on him. So that right there, like that was making me nervous. But you know, I was still confident because you know we. We never drop the baton. We never mess up. Well, we mess up, but we still have the speed to keep ourselves up there. You know what I mean? Our team was five, bro. 42-8-3. We could have ran a faster time, but, you know, let me let me stop reminiscing. So, basically, me and Matt were messing up. And then Juice and Matt, I mean, they were, uh, their handoff was good. And Matt, and uh, ah, Juice and Alec. They haven't practiced their handoffs in two weeks because, you know, Alec was hurt and uh, I guess coach just had that much confidence in us, confidence ah, in us that we, um, that he let us um, run without practicing. Well, them two. And really, A team, we rarely practice handoffs anyway because, you know, the A team, we five, 42 A, but, well, we used to be five. But yeah, I'm rambling too much. But anyways, um, so Alec and Juice didn't practice their handoffs for two weeks. And, you know, I was nervous about that, but I wasn't at the same time because I knew they had it. So, like, mm, it was pretty cool. So. Um, the race comes up. We all warmed up, ready, we hype. And, and we were going to wear tights and head ties, but since... Everybody was in their spandex, and a lot of people didn't wear their head ties. I mean, we had our head ties, but what we did 
we had the curve runners where white head ties and the straight runners run black head ties. So basically, it was like white, black, white, black. Cause you know, we fought. Let me start rambling once again. But anyways, I'm the starter of the four by one. Matt is the second leg, Juice is the third leg, and Alex is the fourth leg. And we start lining up to the line. So obviously I'm the starter, so I got to line up to the line. So basically I line up to the line. And the starter like explains everything to us. Like we got to stay in our lane and stuff. We can't start for, if you false start, you were automatically disqualified because it's the regionals meet. This is a big thing. So basically he tells all the legs to go to their exchange zones. And I stay here because I'm the starter, all the starters. So basically the starter says, runners on your marks. I get ready. And he says, set, I get set. And then, you know, he pops the gun. And my starting block slide back, but they don't call that, which is weird. So I just keep running. But, you know, I have enough speed to um still keep myself in the race. I actually broke the stagger with still sliding back and starting blocks, which is crazy. But I, I was known for um breaking the stagger because I... Yeah, bruh, your boy's a curve eater. But anyways, man, I didn't even hit a 10. I'm gonna get to that story. Next story time. But anyways, so I run, I break the stagger because we're in lane four and Carver's in lane five. I break the stagger on them. I'm already ahead of their first leg. And then I hand it off the mat and I miss his hand. So like, we just fumbling around he turns around i finally get it to him we're still in the exchange zone so it was good so we ran we still in a good place so matt hands it off the juice it was a good handoff we're in first place at this time because we have enough speed to you know recover from that so then the incident bruh third and fourth leg the last exchange so basically our third leg is running right you know he's getting it because we're in first bro we're fresh at this time and um our third leg gets into the exchange zone our fourth leg he um i don't know what, i don't know what happened because i well I, I saw what happened but i just couldn't believe it because it was just so it was unexpected from us because we never mess up like that so basically our fourth leg took off early and then our third leg he tried to reach he couldn't get there and he fell <laughs> and a baton dropped bro the baton dropped bro when i say i never went to the ground so fast bro when i saw that bro i dropped to the ground bro Whew, the whole team was not talking bro i mean once you heard that baton drop all you heard in the stands was ooh because you know Nobody likes to see a team drop a baton, especially a fast team like ours was. So basically, <sighs> almost the whole meet, like our relay team wasn't talking to anybody. Like, so I had to stay on the field for a while because I was, ooh, bro, I was pissed, bro. I was disappointed, bro. But I'm not putting any blame on anybody because you know it's in the past. I, I didn't put any blame on anybody in the beginning, so no blame on anybody. So basically. I get up to the stands, bruh. Coach calls me over, bruh. I'm at the break of tears, bruh. So once he calls my name, bruh, I get over there. I get in front of him, bruh. I kid you not, bruh. I just start crying, bruh. Like, I just let it all lose. I mean, I just started yelling or anything, but you know, the tears were coming, bruh. I could not let him. I could not stop him because, whoo, bruh, I was so heartbroken, bruh. Everybody else on the team was too, but yeah, so basically we didn't make it past region because we dropped the baton. Yeah. Tragic time, but anyways, if you like the video, if you like this tragic story time, please leave a like, please subscribe, please comment because I like comments. Comment so I can make my videos better because you know I, I've been off the game for a minute. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.